A federal judge says he's inclined to make portions of the Trump raid affidavit public, and he's giving the Justice Department a week to submit its suggested redactions, but this still is raising concerns over transparency. The problem is that the Department of Justice is rather notorious uh, for using redactions, and they have sort of a perverse incentive here. If they over-redact, it's more likely the judge will disagree, which means that they can go on appeal and delay any release further. So they have a, a rather odd incentive uh, that the more they redact, the more likely they can get more time. Fox News contributor Lara Trump joins us now. Lara, great to have you as always. You just heard Jonathan Turley there really laying out this perverse incentive, this potential CYA for all involved, the judge, the DOJ. So, in the end, are you confident that the American people will ultimately get the information that they need from this affidavit in the end? Uh, gosh, Todd, I sure hope so, because I think that we need it right now in our country. Um, obviously, I'm happy to hear that at least some of this affidavit will be made public, but then you have this uh, magistrate judge who says, well, I'll let it be released, but only after all of the redactions the FBI once made. Well, gosh, don't we assume that the FBI is probably going to redact quite a bit of information, if not most of it, that would go to answer some of our questions at this point? He kind of gets to play it both ways, because maybe this was all messed up from the beginning. Maybe there were mistakes made by the FBI. Maybe this uh, warrant shouldn't have even been issued for the raid on, uh, on Mar-a-Lago. And they don't want the affidavit, after all, released to the public to show that. So they obviously get to play the long game here. I'm sure they will try to drag it out as long as possible. But it's all a shame, because it still looks to so many Americans like this was a targeted political attack on Donald Trump. It doesn't help us clear up any questions at this point. America still remains in this very, uh, you know, unsettled state, I think, right now. And I hope we get to see more information. But no, Todd, my confidence is very low at this point that we'll get anything at all. Yeah, well, Laura, because there is so much that we don't know, there have been a series of media leaks. And one of them was that the DOJ was after documents related to nuclear weapons. There was another one that said uh, that the FBI was actually looking for Trump's personal stash of documents that had something to do with the Russia investigation that Trump could possibly weaponize in the future. What's your reaction to those two things? Well, I'll tell you, Carly, it's interesting because all of these little drips, all these little media leaks that you see, these are the same people who were leaking the information during the Russia collusion hoax. Isn't it interesting how they go to the same folks in the media to spread this information again? And you can make of that information whatever you want, but I can tell you that my father-in-law has maintained that everything that he took from the Oval Office was declassified. He had a right to take all of the information. They were working together with the FBI, with the National Archives, every step of the way. So there is no rationale in anybody's mind, uh, at least on my father-in-law's team, that any of this should have occurred in this manner. Uh, I don't find it surprising you get these little leaks of information. They're trying to control the narrative. We know what the goal is on their side. Uh, unfortunately, the American people need full transparency to be able to make their own de de decision here. And we should know that we can trust our Department of Justice, our FBI. FBI in America, right now it doesn't feel that way. Obviously, this is a go after Trump narrative. This is what's happening. They've been doing this for, for years now. But specifically in this context, with regard to the affidavit and the whole CYA approach, do you think that they're embarrassed? the fact that the juice wasn't worth the squeeze on this one, and that's why they're so worried about the information coming out? Uh, absolutely, Todd. I think that this whole thing from the beginning, they overplayed their hand. I think they, they were hopeful they would get into Mar-a-Lago, and maybe there would be a treasure trove uh, of, of information from Donald Trump. Man, could they really take him down now? They didn't find anything when they rifled through Melania's closet. They didn't find anything, apparently, that they were looking for. Now they all have egg on their face, and it looks like they're trying to backtrack, clean up, do anything they can to salvage themselves at this point, because 
because you can't look at what happened and say, man, mistakes were made here, somebody messed up. It is pretty obvious to the American people that yeah. that's the case. Well, the former president has made it very clear that he wants this affidavit released. The DOJ does not. So the judge sort of split it in the middle, but we're just going to have to wait to see exactly how much we get out. And then the judge can go back, look at the redactions, make some of his own, and then they can appeal that. So this is going to be a long, drawn out process. Laura, thank you so much for joining us uh, this morning. We always appreciate having you on. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.